the process of creating something can be very, very therapeutic. Especially when you get to create something from something else. Maybe it's new lumber or new material. Maybe it's something old and discarded that someone thought was junk and you turned it into something else. Let's get started. All right. So this guy has been sitting in my shop for two years, basically using it as an extra work surface. I got it free on the side of a curb. A neighbor down the road from me was just tossing it out. He saw trash. I saw potential. I knew it had something better to offer than just dumpster. The cool part about this thing is the history of it. It's old. It was put together with nails and some flathead screws. There's definitely some work that had to be done. There was some damage that needed to be repaired, some pieces that needed to be replaced, and I had to take one of the towers and cut it in half for the design I wanted for the bench. So I literally turned it on its side and just ran it through my table saw. Fresh coat of paint, new top, and then we move on to the rest of the project. I thoroughly enjoy using my hand tools whenever I can. As much as I hate staining, it's a bit more enjoyable when I have good music. The color we went with on the stain is called a barn smoke. And man, it really pops, especially with the Danish oil. Really bringing out the color. Here we are at Casa de Remodel. We're going to be putting in a hall tree in the entryway. We are covering up an eight foot section of wall with a new bench, hat racks, a place for kids' backpacks. So we figured why not let the kids have some fun before we cover it all up. Hi. Look at that artwork. Man, that is looking good, bud. Now I did run into a couple issues with the final setup of everything because the way my ADHD brain works is the design changed a couple times throughout the process of the cutting and the painting and the building. But we were able to uh, jump that hurdle and get underway. I love to show my wins. I also love to show some of the challenges that I run into. So on this guy, I got the first panel put up. That is 63 inches from the bench up. This side of the panel from the bench up is 62 inches. Why? Well, because the floor that was installed is a natural slate. And every surface is up and down and wavy and I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to level out that floor. So I get it. So of course I've already nailed this guy on. So I got to take him off, cut an inch off, then nail it back on again. Son of a... Just another day. All right, we jumped that hurdle. The way my ADHD brain works is that the design changed a few times throughout the process of building and cutting and creating. But that was kind of the fun part of it too. I did end up adding a support underneath the bench 
from floor to bench just because I wanted that extra support being that I would be sitting on it, my kids would be sitting on it, my wife would be sitting on it. I used a half inch sheet of birch plywood and then finished the edge off with some trim. And the way the color pops with that stain we used and the Danish oil, it looks great. It looks really, really good with our slate tile. I didn't put any polyurethane on this. I tried to avoid using any harsh chemicals as I could. Danish oil and the stain are probably the harshest things that I used. I know the Danish oil will help protect it for a while, but it's going to get scratched. It's going to get beat up. And honestly, I kind of want it that way. We have three kids and they are rough as hell on everything. And I want those scratches. I want those dents. I want those scars. And I want those memories to shine throughout the years. Because I can come back, wipe down with some Danish oil, and make it look like it was part of it. And here we are. We took something that was perceived as trash and turned it into our own treasure. Between the work I put in and the painting that my wife did and the abuse that my kids are going to put onto this thing, this is truly a family piece. But now we have a very functional hallway and an entryway to put our backpacks, to put dog leashes, to hang up our hats, to kick off our shoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like and throw down a comment. And now that the work is done, I get to relax, sit back, kick my feet up, and enjoy the fruits of my labor. That is until my wife has another project for me.